Hey folks, this video is a little bit out of my wheelhouse. I tend to stick to shooting sports, reloading, hunting and fishing, and aviation. But I discovered something that uh, if you guys are like me and a pool owner, you maintain your own pool, and if you have cartridge filters, you're going to enjoy this video because maintaining a cartridge filter, especially cleaning it, is a pain in the ass. They work great, but when it comes to cleaning time, they are no fun. Like I said, I am not a pool care expert. I just maintain my own pool. I've been maintaining this pool for four and a half years and I've never had to add algicide. I've never had to shock it. Yes, it is a saltwater pool and the chemistry is perfect. I check my own every week. So today I'm going to review a couple of products that I thought would make cleaning the filters a little easier. What I've been using is just a regular old garden sprayer on the jet setting that gets the most pressure. I'm going to show you how well it works, then I'm going to show you how well this aqua comb works. Nice concept, got some little nozzles here, little combs that you can reach down into the filters with. Does it work? I don't know, let's see. And the last item is this filter flosser. Rounded to match your filter, got little holes, and does it increase the pressure? Does it make it better? I don't know. Let's watch and see. Full disclosure, I do spray these filters down with Simple Green and let them set for about 15 minutes before I start washing them. First up, we're going to do the garden sprayer with it set on the jet. So that's about 30 seconds and it's not even as clean as it needs to be. Um, what I've done in the past is I've gotten on both sides of these pleats, gone in and out. It probably takes me about 30-35 uh, minutes to clean a filter completely and thoroughly with this. Next we'll do a section with the filter flosser. Nice little round thing with little jets. Let's see how this works. Oh. It's got a little, no, it doesn't really have a swivel on. That's kind of loose. Maybe that'll help the pressure a little bit. Nope, didn't do much. Let's see. You can see what kind of flow it does. So let's run it for about uh, 30 seconds. We'll do the section below what we just cleaned and go. And even tilting this thing down, you kind of get wet with this one. It uh, seems to be unavoidable. So that's 30 minutes or 30 seconds with the filter flosser and 30 seconds with the garden hose. Next up we have the aqua comb. It looks like a good concept but uh, I don't think it works that great. Still doesn't do anything to boost the pressure. And we'll clean the section right below what we've already cleaned and we'll give it a go for about 30 seconds. There's the spray on that thing. It's probably got a little more pressure than the uh, filter flosser. Here we go. All right, there's 30 seconds. I did a pretty good job. Um, it doesn't do real good around the bands. It's really hard to get in there. But uh, yeah, I'd say actually it probably did a little bit better job than the garden hose. 
Let's try the other thing. Yeah, you know that thing, the pressure washer. So I hope you can hear me. Pressure washer, I got a 50 foot hose, got it pretty far away. Uh, this is Generac, I've had this thing for, I don't know, probably 10 or 12 years. I've got the regular uh, pressure spray nozzle on it, and we may even try out the uh, soap nozzle, which would be even less pressure. And this is, this is running, I don't know, somewhere around 18, 1900 PSI. And we'll go for 30 seconds and clean this section, see how it compares to the other. Alright, here we go. Okay, I think it's a pretty clear winner. Which one cleaned better in 30 seconds? And honestly, if I pulled off of that in about 15 seconds, it, it would have been just as clean. We're going to clean this last little section here with the uh, soap nozzle. See how that does. Soap nozzle was not going to do very good, but here we go. The soap nozzle went 30 seconds, also did pretty well, but not quite as well as the pressure nozzle. So there's the results of the four different ways I'm cleaning these uh, cartridge filters. Just the garden hose sprayer with the jet setting works pretty good. I've been using that for a while. I did have a uh, set of blocks and a little piece of PVC to turn these on so I didn't have to lay them on the ground, but I, I wasn't able to find it today. Uh, next up, we had the filter flosser. I'll put a link to this, uh, both of these uh, down in the uh, description section. Works okay. Uh, it needs to be redesigned. There's not enough pressure comes out of that to do it thoroughly. Uh, honestly, unless you just like the ergonomics of it and look, I wouldn't get one of those. Aquacomb, that works pretty well. It works better than garden sprayer. But again, it only cleans a little section at a time and it doesn't get around the bands very well. I'll put a link to that one as well. The Mac Daddy is the pressure washer. Uh, if you have one, folks, use it. You're not going to tear up your filter. Uh, if you put it on the lowest setting, back off, you're not going to rip it to shreds. It works great, a whole lot faster. And with that, I'm going to get out of here, folks, because I love spending time with you, but I spent about half a day on this because my camera keeps overheating and I'm hungry. It's time for lunch. So anyway, remember kids, X's win matches. Keep the greasy side down. Y'all have a good one.